know, considering I never shut up talking about adventure. 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 Yeah. I figured why not just play a game with adventure already in the title? I remember playing this game as a kid, but I don't really remember much about it. I mean, it's been about 15 years, but I do remember that uh, it's called Adventure Island 3 for, for the Nintendo. I liked the NES versions of this game, but the Super Nintendo versions were... Blech. Master Higgins looks all weird, and on top of that, he's got a shield and a sword? They're just trying too hard at this point. Not to mention there's dialogue. Holy crap, shut up! I whipped those weenies to smithereenies! Yeah. You wanna know the best reason to review this game? The music. I feel the music. I feel the music. Like freaking John Williams right now. Adventure Island 3 starts off with the aforementioned Master Higgins and his girlfriend Tina just chilling on this puny little island when a UFO comes and snatches Tina up. Here's a life lesson for you. It's always the aliens. Don't have any food? Aliens. Feel a bit too lazy? Aliens. Spill your drink on yourself? Aliens. Live on an island barely big enough for two people to stand on and you have a cute girl who got taken away by aliens? Well, it's probably because you ate too many cheeseburgers. I mean, just look at her, she's way too good for you. So now it's up to you to chase down the UFO and save your girl. Wow, I see why they were living on that tiny little island now. Everything on the mainland is freaking insane. Everything wants you dead, from the snails to the octopi, and even the freaking clouds are trying to kill you. How much are those aliens paying you, Rock? I'll double it. Master Higgins is one hungry guy. No wonder he's chubby. You have to eat constantly to fill up this deplenishing food bar or he dies. Because that's just the life you live when you're Master Higgins. But now that I think about it, he didn't have to eat that much when he was on the island. Maybe it's the exercise. Yeah, that's it. He just can't run five feet without stuffing his mouth with grapes. Makes sense. Every now and then I find myself chugging along in the game, just being careful not to hit anything when BAM! How did I die? Oh, I didn't feed my fat fast enough. But you don't just murder woodland creatures, you can also find a lot of secrets in this game. There's hidden eggs scattered throughout the levels and they can have dinosaurs in them, or at least cards that somehow turn into dinosaurs when you touch them? I don't, I don't know. There's also keys that can summon clouds to take you to mini games, like a surfing game that I suck at, or some kind of disco party with springs in the sky. I don't know, but I think I might have had a, too much of that special candy that the guy in the alley gave to me. But I don't, I don't know really. There's also a skateboard, but they give it to you at the worst possible moments. All of a sudden, skateboard. What is this trickery? One of the coolest things about this game are the previously mentioned dinosaurs you can get as allies. I find it strange that the penguins want you dead, but the dinosaurs are your friends. No, 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 game. That makes sense. Don't worry about it. That makes sense. I want to ride a penguin. This guy is blue. He also doesn't slip on the ice. He also sometimes does slip on the ice. This guy's basically a necessity for some of the underwater levels. I used to think he was wearing sunglasses as a kid, but on closer inspection... Yeah, screw reality, those are sunglasses. Then there's the green one. Could you please slow down? I can't do anything with this guy. It's like he's on speed or something. <laughs> Let's go fast! Dead. Then there's the red guy. I find myself using him the most out of all of them because, well, he can walk in lava. And that's just cool. Respect. And I know there's a pterodactyl in this game somewhere. That's one thing I remember for sure, but I can't find him. Come out, you coward. Your drug addict cousin just really isn't working out. Man, some of the enemies in this game suck really badly. Look at these lobster guys. They're so cute that I almost feel bad for killing them. Bam. Whoa, I take it back. Whew. That was... I'm sorry for everything I've ever done. No, you idiot. Go up. I'm hungry. Whew. Grapes. All right, here's one of the underwater levels. Huh, an air bubble. That'll help. It's a trap! Speaking of these water levels, how exactly am I throwing these axes? I guess it's just one of the great retro game mysteries that will never be solved. Oh, wait. Now I get it. Huh, you dropped an egg in the lava. Should I do it? Mm, no, I shouldn't do it. I'm gonna do it. Well, that just goes to show you, if you jump into lava, even if there's an egg in it, you will still be dead. Whatever, I'm gonna get this thing. Ah, dang it! Piece of- Forgot to bring an axe. Oh my- Ah! Forgot to bring an axe again. Finally, I got him. Oh yeah! Oh no. Oh cool, a secret cave. I am the keeper of the three eggs. Huh. 
you sure are. This game has some pretty cool boss fights too. I mean, none of them could possibly compare to Wall the boss fight from Adventure Island 2, but I mean, what could really? Oh, and before I forget to mention it, the boss fight music is epic. Makes me want to be one of those beatbox guys. The first boss. This guy is hard, Sardom. Well, he doesn't appear to be doing anything. This guy's just a skeleton, so he may not be the strongest, but don't count him out because he uses his head. I got to this boss with the red dinosaur, but then I realized it was basically impossible to win with him, so I had to sacrifice him. After all the things we went through, red dinosaur, I'll never forget you. Final boss fight against the UFO. I gotta say, for all the technology they have, their ship's weapon systems aren't that accurate. Well, it looks like the game's playing me for a fool, but I'll send these aliens back to school. Thought they could beat me with all their tech, but it's like they just came from the set of Star Trek. I decided to make a poem in the middle of my video, but I'm not sure why, and nothing rhymes with video. So the rest of the aliens retreat like cowards, because for some reason a bunch of advanced aliens can't stop one guy with some tomahawks and a grass skirt. So Master Higgins jumps into the ship. Something really epic must have happened here because the ship starts to blow up. Maybe he had TNT up his butt, I don't know. But alas, all is not well in Adventure Island 3 land. Because they're gonna die! Well there's that stupid pterodactyl. Sure, now you show up just to be the hero, but where were you when I was fighting the freaking butterfly guy? I'm not gonna thank you. But uh oh, the aliens are back. But it's okay, because they just wanted to swim this time. They're allowed. On March 1st, 2012, Hudson Soft shut their doors for the last time. I'd like to take this moment to remember some of the great games they had a part in. Such as Bomberman, Mario Party, and the ever-memorable Catch the Egg for the iPhone. Hudson Soft, you may have been taken away from us, but you'll always remain in our hearts. Want some exclusive updates? Maybe you have a question for me, who knows? I might even have an answer. Then go to my Facebook page and click that little like button. You should maybe think about liking this video because if you don't, the kitten gets it. If you want to see some more videos, I've got two right down here. You can click on them. It's real convenient. Just go one, two, three, click, one, two, three, click. And that's how babies are made.